I got my boots and shoes. I got my boots and shoes. I got my black and white socks. I got my black and white socks. I got my press pants. I got my press pants. When I'm ready to dance. City year is about giving education to all kids, like no matter where they're from. And we are a nonprofit AmeriCorps organization, um, educational based. Our long-term mission is to end the high school dropout crisis. So we do that by hoping to create a pipeline to help people get all the way from third grade to ninth grade. We do everything from um, being there in class, helping out with whole class support, um, to taking kids outside of classrooms and doing one-on-one -on -one or group interventions. We are a strong advocate for students. The students that you work with are some of the most amazing people you've ever met. Um, they have so many challenges and so many struggles. You know, coming to school is, is a big challenge um, because you know, some of them have to get themselves up, get themselves ready for school. And a lot of our students are from low-income families. And so to hear their stories, and how it aligns with mine, however similar they may be. It allows me to have a level of relatability. Students always wait up for an opportunity to open up. Um, it just may come when you least expect it. When I first met Samantha in September, it was kind of, I didn't really talk to her um, on a personal level. Um, she was, you know, because she was sleeping all the time. Working with Samantha in the beginning of the year, was not easy because she wasn't at school. Um, there was no kind of relationship with with her, with you know, with the teacher and her, with with me and her, with city and her, because she was here maybe one time a week. She thought that she wasn't smart enough, or she wasn't motivated enough, or whatever it was. Like she wasn't doing her work. You had, you had to start out. You had to start out small. You know, coming to school every day was like one of the main goals that we wanted. And then eventually her attendance did get better. Um, so now our goals are about, you know, improving grades, behavior in class. And so I had to go straight to like business, like you need to be up, you need to be paying attention. So I would sit next to her and take notes. Or if she was sleeping, I would tap her on the shoulder. And I'm pretty sure she kept getting annoyed with me. You know, it was a slow process, but you know, she's growing a lot. And, and Hannah has a lot to do with that. There came a point mid-year, around January, um, where she got her grades back and she was really excited because within those past couple months that she like stayed awake, she was doing more work and she's pretty smart and she didn't realize it. You know, I've seen the growth in, in, in Samantha. You know, she's, she's been at school, she's doing the work. I said, okay, let's make a list of things that you want to do in the near future. And she really wants to become a veterinarian. Um, she loves animals. So she said she wanted to graduate high school and she wanted to go to college to be a veterinarian. And so it was easy for me to tie like all the work that she's doing in eighth grade and how if she gets on track with eighth grade, she'll graduate and go to high school and she can, she can do all that if she just like keeps trying. proud of her. Um, her. Her attitude like inspires me to be better no matter how hard it is because I know how hard it was for her. She's doing awesome and she's so smart and sometimes she doesn't realize it and I would just, I want her to remember how smart she is. Just to see them succeed in the classroom is just probably the, the reason I do this job. It's extremely prideful. I'm so proud that I'm here, but it's also one of the biggest privileges I've ever had. Not only am I imparting something into them, but every day they're teaching me different things. It's an inspiration every day just to see what they can overcome and see what they're capable of once they realize it. It's allowed me to appreciate the smaller wins because each of those small wins can eventually build up into an even bigger win.